What's good everybody? Today, I'll be talking about Taven Bryan and comparing him with Vita Bea. In 2011, Marcel Darius and Nick Fairley got a lot of attention. They were ranked as prospects that you cannot miss on. Now, although they've had good NFL careers, the best defensive linemen in the 2011 draft weren't those two. In fact, in 2011, JJ Watt was the best defensive player that came out of that draft. And the same thing happened in 2014. Although I love Cleo Mack, as well as Davian Clowney, those two are ranked as the best defensive lineman coming out. And in my personal opinion, Aaron Donald ended up being the best defensive lineman in the 2014 NFL Draft. Well, in the 2018 NFL Draft, a lot of people are looking at Vita Bea, Maurice Hurst, as well as Alabama's defensive lineman Payne as the best defensive lineman coming out. I personally believe a lot of people are sleeping on Taven Bryan because they simply don't know who he is. Taven Bryan is not a household name. In fact, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to compare Brian and Via. I'm going to compare both players as far as when they line up in the one technique or as a nose tackle, as well as when they line up in the three technique or as defensive tackle, as well as how they do in pass rushing situations, because these will directly translate to when these players get into the NFL. So with that, let's start with the one technique slash nose tackle, and we'll start with Taven Bryan first. I'm going to show you guys some game film on him, and then we'll switch over to Vita Vea. So we'll start with this first play. Here is Brian lined up in the one technique. He gets off the ball very, very fast. I'm going to show it to you guys from the backside angle. Look how quickly he gets off the line of scrimmage. I want to show this play to you guys again because he gets off the line of scrimmage so fast that he disrupts the play. Watch him get off the line of scrimmage and watch the left guard. So in the play, the left guard needs to trap the defensive end. Now, right when the play starts, Brian gets off the line of scrimmage so fast, he gets in the way. Right, he slows the left guard down, who then barely gets a hand on the defensive end. Because of that, that defensive end is able to chase the play down and make the tackle. Now playing the one technique, you're going to be taking on a lot of double teams from the guard and center. So you want to be strong to take those double teams on. Now I don't want to imply that he's a weak defensive lineman because he's not. But his strength is his get off, his quickness, his hand usage. You know, he has great technique. He's 6'5", so by no means is he small. But he weighs 291 pounds. He did 30 bench reps, which is still strong. But I want you guys to watch this play here. The importance of this play is Brian gets off the ball so damn fast. He gets off the ball before anyone else, and then he fires low. Look how low he is. And then he extends his arms. Now, the play gets blown dead, so it doesn't really matter. But the point of me showing you guys this is... is it's up close and it's personal and you guys are able to see his technique. And those are the types of things that are very, very unique in Brian that I don't see in some of these other prospects. Now, as far as the one technique, we're going to switch over to Via and there's no comparison. Via is a way better one technique nose tackle. I mean, he weighs 350 pounds. He has 41 bench press reps. I mean, you can't even compare the two players when it comes to the one technique. Brian's not going to take on double teams. Bia will destroy double teams. Now, playing nose tackle is a lot different than playing in a three technique. And the reason why it's different is because as a nose tackle, you will have two hands down rather than have one hand down. For those of you that have not ever played defensive line, you guys might think, well, what the hell's the difference between having one hand or two hands? Well, by having one hand, you have the other hand, which is your free hand. And that free hand you can use to pass rush, swat the guy's hands down, whatever it is. When you have two hands down, you're ready to, you know, punch whatever comes your way with both hands. So when there's two guys that are going to double team you, you're able to punch with both hands. Now, again, to reiterate, as far as the one technique and nose tackle, Via is way better. He has the upper hand on Brian. And I think part of that also has to do with the fact that Via is a lot stronger. You know, in the combine, Via had 41 bench reps versus Brian had 30 bench reps, which isn't bad, but 30 to 41 is not comparable. But at the same time, they're playing different positions. One's quicker, one's stronger. So with that, let's get into the next situation, which is the three technique defensive tackle situations. So this is where Brian's going to excel. This is where Aaron Donald makes his money. You know, Aaron Donald lines up in a three technique and uses his speed. So I'm going to show you guys a few examples of Brian using his speed. I mean, his get off 
is absolutely fantastic. I mean, he doesn't make the play on every single uh, uh, play, but at the end of the day, being disruptive is it's a huge deal. You allow linebackers to go free. For example, in this situation here, he gets upfield, takes on both guard and tackle, and even though the linebacker misses the play, he disrupts the play, and that's a big, big thing that teams are going to look for. Again, on a lot of these plays, he's beating the defensive lineman off the ball. So again, he's not making these plays, but he he doesn't get blocked. You know, in the three technique, a lot of the times, tackles have to cut defensive linemen off. And he doesn't allow that. He beats those tackles. Or sometimes it's the guards, and he'll beat those guards off the line of scrimmage. And he does this all the time. I mean, look at this play here. The guard barely gets a hand on him, and he's already in the backfield. He's very, very, very disruptive. Even against Alabama in the 2016 championship game, he was all over the field. Now, I personally believe that Taven Bryant is a fantastic three technique lineman. I'm going to show you guys a few plays of Aaron Donald. You know, you guys watch Aaron Donald. He's very similar. He's very fast off the line of scrimmage. Now, I'm not saying Brian is going to be the same player as Aaron Donald and be as disruptive. But the point I'm trying to make is this. What Aaron Donald does is he's fast off the line of scrimmage and he's smart. And I see the same qualities in Taven Bryan. Now, at the same time, I want to show you guys some of the plays where Vita Bay is lined up in the three technique. Now, when the offensive lineman tries to block him, he will take on the double teams and he'll be disruptive, just like in that play there. But I want you guys to watch this play here. Now, although the offensive tackle is able to cut him off, he still makes a play by using his strength. But I want to show you guys something. Right now, Vea is in a three technique. So the offensive tackle needs to get in front of him and just cut him off. That's his simple block. And he does that. He's able to just get right in front of Vea like he does there. And theoretically in the NFL, an NFL offensive tackle, if he's able to cut Vea off, because again, Vea is a little bit slower getting off the line of scrimmage than someone like Taven Bryan, who's very fast. So in the three technique, he won't allow that offensive tackle to cut him off. So my point in showing you guys this play is when Vea is lined up on the outside and he has to cover, you know, three yards to the right or three yards to the left. That is a lot different than when you're lined up in the middle of the field, in the middle of the defense, and you know that it's going to be center and guard. You know, you're expecting it. He's not expecting double teams from tight ends or expecting to not get blocked and have someone pull and cut block him. You know, that's a lot different than, than playing the three technique. The only plays I ever saw him lose was plays where he was not the nose tackle. To me, when he does not know where the double team's going to come from, for example, if it's going to be the right tackle, left guard, center, it might be a tight end pulling, it makes it harder for him because he is not that quick off the ball. Now, don't get me wrong, he's still very, very good, but when it comes to the three technique, I would have to give the upper hand to Taven Bryan, but keeping in mind, Villa is a lot more versatile. You know, Bryan can play the three technique a lot better than Villa, but Villa can play almost everywhere else. You know, Villa can play a 3-4-4-3. Three, and I don't think Brian could play a 3-4 as well. Now, with that, let's get into the pass rush, comparing these two guys. And again, we'll start with Brian first. Brian has a lot going for him in pass rush. He's fast. I mean, he is so fast off the line of scrimmage, and he uses his hands very well. I'm going to show you guys this play, and I'm going to show it to you guys again. I mean, he doesn't get a sack or anything, but watch this play again, and I'm going to show you guys something that NFL coaches teach young defensive linemen. First, look at how he gets double teamed. Once the guy gets off of him, look at Brian's right arm. He uses that right arm to get number 70 off of him. I'm going to zoom in and show it to you guys one more time. Look at him use his right arm. He hits 70's left arm down and uses his left arm and swims over number 70 with this right arm. When defensive linemen come into the NFL, the first thing the defensive line coaches teach them is how to use your hands, how to properly shed, rip, you know, get the lineman off of you. That's very, very important. For example, in this situation, look at how he extends his arms, gets 64 going backwards, and then he rips under 64. And this play is a hold. Um, theoretically, it would have came back, but it was third down and it was incompletion. So they ended up just declining the penalty. But my point is, is Brian's very, very good with his hands. You know, he's able to swim move. He's able to use the rip move. I've seen him spin. He's very good at shedding blocks. So with that, let's get into Vea and see how he is as far as pass rushing. I mean, Vea is very, very strong. I mean, he'll go 
right through people and he does you know he has he had a lot of sacks this past season and a lot of it was he just went through people using his power and he also used this hump move it's a power move where you basically get the offensive lineman using just the hard hit and he was able to knock people around using this here's another example of that i mean he's so damn powerful and strong he collapses the pocket perfectly and that's exactly what he's supposed to do you know he's a three forward nose tackle so he needs to collapse the pocket and just get people going backwards i mean look at this look at this raw power look how far he throws this tackle i mean that's just it's mind-blowing how strong he is now keeping in mind that a lot of his moves are just power moves so for example in this situation here when power is met with power there's nothing else to it it's just power versus power and if you don't have more hand usage, if you don't have swim moves, rip moves, spin, you know, if you don't have more of these moves, well, then strong offensive linemen are going to be able to handle you. For example, in this play as well. Now, don't get me wrong. For the most part, he overpowered the, the person he was lined up across. But at the same time, once he gets to the NFL, he's going to have to improve his, his hand usage. And he will. You know, a good defense coordinator, that's the first thing they're going to work with him is how to use your hands properly. I would say right now, Brian is further ahead as far as using his hands and such. But Villa is so strong and, and the power moves he has are fantastic. So with that, I would say as far as passing, they're tied. I wouldn't say one person's better than the other. Um, and, and production was about even as well in college. Now, keeping in mind, one played in the SEC. So naturally, he's going to play a better offensive lineman. So in summary, I want to just wrap this up. But compare actual uh, statistical data between the two guys as far as 40 yard dash via's a lot slower he ran a 510 brian ran a 498 brian i mean he destroys him in the 20 yard dash vertical jump a uh, three cone drill he's number one in all of these statistical categories and for example three cone drill for 2018 he's number one but is that important between 2010 and 2018 here are just some of the notable names Aaron Donald, Chris Wormley, Henry Anderson, Derek Wolf, Muhammad Wilkerson, Derek Loft. These are just some of the players that from 2010 to 2018, and keep in mind this is sorted uh, descending from the fastest to the slowest. Now, at the same time, Bia has one of the best bench reps. So, from 2010 to 2018, he's ranked as the fifth best bench rep, you know, defensive lineman. Some of the notable names on there, Linville Joseph, Dantari Poe, both of those guys are, are nose tackles. So again, I personally believe that if your team is going to run a 34 and you need a nose tackle or you need a one technique 43 defensive tackle, then you take Vita Vea. He would be the perfect player for you. He's strong, powerful, fast. But if you want a 43 three technique pass rusher, a guy that's going to get after the quarterback, disrupt the run, then you take Brian. I mean, he's going to be the perfect player for that situation. He has Aaron Donald potential. Now, he might not ever live up to that, but he has the potential. So again, for the Oakland Raiders, I personally know that we're playing a 43 defense and we already have Big Jelly to play the one technique. So I personally would draft Taven Bryan over Vita Bea if that's the route we went. I would rather get a cornerback or a linebacker right now because I don't see our defensive or interior defensive being that big of an issue. Um, again, and, and if Hurst is the guy, then, then get Hurst. You know, Reggie McKenzie's going to have to make that decision. The defensive draft is, it's you know, there's so many defense players out there. So, again, Reggie McKenzie's going to have to make that decision. I like Taven Bryan a lot. I try not to be biased in this video, but it just doesn't make sense to me to take a 350-pound nose tackle and put him in at the three technique. It doesn't make sense. He's not fast enough. But at the end of the day, Vita Vea will still be a fantastic NFL player. I, sh I believe Brian will be too. Now, if you guys are still watching to this point, I want you guys to let me know in the comments. Say, hey, I heard your comment that you wanted to let us know and comment that and give me your guys' email. I'm going to send you guys a special um, thank you for actually watching the whole video and not being a troll like some of these other people. Uh, you guys are my true fans and I really appreciate you guys a lot again hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed hit the like button um, again thank you guys for watching please like share and comment and i'll see you guys next time with the game film breakdown